Welcome back to Designer's Challenge. I'm Chris Harrison. It's been a week since Rob and Vivian were presented with three unique plans to transform their tiny kitchen into a chef's haven. Now it's time for them to reveal which team got the job. This was a really hard decision. Um, we fell in love with all of the designs. Uh, each one had something really special to it. But in the end, we chose Chuck and Yvonne. Yeah, we thought their design really spoke to who we are as a family, had all the features that we liked. So we're really looking forward to getting started, and I'm going to be the first one to hit that wall with this legend. <laughs> I want to see it go. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. me too. That's really going to be fun. Really a good project. I think I know what it is. What do you think? I think it's the walk-in pantry. Yeah, that yeah. was good. The old charm look. Colors. Yes. I think the wood countertops also did it. Yeah, that's I mean, we pulled everything together. The beadboard. They wanted the that. Board, we got it all. Right? Since Rob and Vivian enjoy the art of cooking, today Chuck and Yvonne escort them to a showroom to meet with Heather Storm and check out a state-of-the-art range. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's awesome. That's, that's the one. beautiful. This is the range we had in mind for you, Vivian. Oh, great. And as you notice here, they have the stainless steel hood. We're, in fact, not doing the same kind of hood we're go right. going to conceal it and uh, yeah, we're not doing any of the high back either we're going to do an island trim so that the tile that we were doing on the backsplash will continue through on the same level star shaped burners allow for maximum cookware coverage while providing the extremely high heat that professional chefs require in addition to the high heat you still get the extra low feature on the two left burners oh. so that enables you to have something as delicate as chocolates or sauces that's on cool. that burner without um, using a double boiler. So you get that really nice low setting in addition to the high setting. So uh, we've actually put some chocolate chips on here for you to show you how delicate that is. Great. Would you like to try it? Sure. See? Those have been sitting on there for quite some time. You can see how delicate that is. That looks good. Look at that, Rob. Want a strawberry? Bring it on. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Wrap it up. Next, Vivian tries out the titanium surface non-stick griddle accessory by flipping some crab cakes. So like four burners and a griddle. Uh-huh, four burners and a griddle then. <laughs> and an oven door that closes. The oven cavity is larger than normal and can hold up to three full caterer sheet pans. And it has a nice rolled bullnose front that is also sealed underneath. Really mm. finished nicely. Mm. It's a beautiful design. Another feature that this has is the uh, the oven is made with a handle that allows you to open it up without hitting your knuckles, which is very nice. And it looks real old-fashioned, too. I love that. Back at the house, the little old-fashioned kitchen is being transformed into a big old-fashioned kitchen. When the dust clears, will the couple find the charming design they've asked for? We'll be back with the final results when Designer's Challenge returns. Welcome back to Designer's Challenge. It's been six months since Rob and Vivian awarded designers Chuck Sacco and Yvonne Landivar the job of renovating their kitchen. With an original budget of $60,000, the team was challenged to turn a tiny outdated kitchen and dining room into a classic country kitchen. How well did they succeed? It's time to find out. It's amazing. We got much more than we ever thought was possible. And Chuck and Yvonne were just incredible to work with and so accommodating. Rob and Vivian now have their very own vintage farmhouse kitchen, custom built with a couple of chefs in mind. You guys, I can't tell you how much we're enjoying this kitchen. Look at it. It's yeah. just incredible. Wow. Yeah. It looks yeah. great. It's amazing. I mean, everything turned out just the way, I mean, it looks just like the picture from the huge pantry behind that door there, which we fit everything in, the new island we have, you know, deciding to keep our old table there. Turned out to be a great idea because it gives us both a dining room and a kitchen. And we didn't um, have to lose our family room, right. which is really great. I was so concerned about whether to have an island or a table, and this really works out great. Right. This was one of the changes we did, and I think it worked out for the best. Right. It's incredible. That and the walnut countertops, which we decided on after Vivian fell in love with them. Oh, they're amazing. And the double arches, the opening up the wall right. here. That was Love that. It's a beautiful design yeah. idea. The sink is so huge, you can fit everything in it. 
And the skylight lets all this light in. We have all this beautiful lighting that Vivian loves to play with at night. She puts on a little light show. <laughs> I love this texture. Yeah, really this oh, is... Oh, the walls are amazing. Everyone always family. comments about this. That's the first thing they comment about when they walk in. It has that real French country feel. Right. Yeah, I think the colors also blend so well with your beaded board. Right. Everything have... came together so beautiful. And the built-in sort of brings everything together. It gives it more of a furniture feel. This old-fashioned kitchen is brimming with state-of-the-art amenities. I love having this row of appliances. It's really great. The oven over here and having an oven over there makes it really easy for us to both work in here at the same time. And then, um, you know, it's great because we can take things out of the oven and set it down here on the table and use this as an island as well. Yeah. And um, I love the warming drawer, especially because Jake never comes to the table when I call him. <laughs> So uh, it's it great because it keeps his food warm. I love the way all the appliances are hidden. We call it the secret fridge. It just is like right behind there. And then this is the freezer and it just slides right out. So it's really cool and really convenient. And then my favorite thing is the dishwasher, which our friends are always asking us if we have one because it's so well hidden. But it's right there. And it works amazingly well. And it's so quiet. The first time I had to put it on, I had to put my ear right down there. Right to see if it was even working. This, of course, is the centerpiece of the kitchen, my wife's professional stove, and this work of art we call the hood. It's beautiful. The guys just made this by hand. It's amazing. Just the tile, the way it all frames everything, and this was a great idea, the pot filler, which in itself is like a piece of art. It's just so beautifully designed. The range is huge. I mean, like a family of four could live in there. It's really big. <laughs> And the pantry is just amazing. I can just fit all of my catering things in here and whatever I need to. There's storage for everything. It's now great. you gotta get more pots. More pots, more <laughs> pots, more stuff, more shopping. And I love the island. I'm just so amazed that it can be so functional because it doesn't seem like it's really that large. I keep all of my appliances in here, so I'm able to just take them out, plug them in, and really work efficiently. Yeah. It looks like a piece of furniture. We love everything. We're very happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, so are we. <laughs> the team of Chuck Sacco and Yvonne Landivar designed a French country kitchen that's a feast for the eyes for this caterer and her family. Thanks for joining us on Designers Challenge. We'll see you next time when we put three more designers to the test. I'm Chris Harrison.